This weekend kicks off the Washington football franchise's 90th year and their first time playing as the Commanders. Fans will flock to FedEx Field Sunday, but it will cost you. Jacqueline Matter is live at the stadium tonight with more on how much. Hey, Jacqueline. Hey there, guys. That's right. Football season is here. A lot of people are excited for it to be back in full swing and, of course, for some tailgating to happen. And I don't know about you guys, but what is a good tailgate, right? Without some fried chicken, of course. Got to try it. Still pretty good, even though we got it a few hours ago. And a nice cold beer. Got to do that for football season, right? The unfortunate part, though, is if you are heading out for a tailgate, it is still going to cost you a pretty penny. It's a new season. We're going to the Super Bowl. And a new name. Hail to the Commanders! The team and fans are ready, but what about your pockets? I've had to start shopping and stockpiling months ago. A recent Wells Fargo report shows from July of 2021 to July of 2022, inflation costs increased the average grocery bill 13 percent. For tailgate Ted, who's been throwing some of the biggest parties outside of FedEx field for years, feeding the amount of people that come through his spot could prove to be costly. I'm not compromising the quality of the tailgate based upon kind of the inflation that we're all experiencing as consumers. It's been difficult to try and gauge what we do each week based on supply chain, what's available, and how much it's going to cost us to put that on the menu. The nationwide study showed since last year, prices of beef, hot dogs, and chicken, all tailgating favorites, have increased significantly. Chicken alone up nearly 18 percent. Ground beef has gone up a ton, and last year we actually took Pretty much anything that required chicken wings, we took off the menu because chicken wing prices went through the roof. An economist from Virginia Tech tells us consumers seem to be adjusting to the increases, not to say they're getting used to the prices, but are instead opting for alternatives. That means no more expensive import lager, but instead cheaper beer. Beer prices have definitely gone up. If you can get it in bulk, it is usually more cost effective. Even those fast food tailgate packs will be hard to tackle. And there used to be better game day deals, but if you compare them to what they were two years prior, it's a lot more money. As for what it'll cost you inside of the stadium, a recent report shows FedEx Field is one of the most expensive stadiums in the league. You want a ballpark dog and a beer. It's going to cost you north of $25 to enjoy those simple things. I think fans are kind of struggling here. You're paying a lot of money for a ticket, and you're going to a stadium that we all can agree on needs to be replaced, and you're paying more money than anyone else in the country. Now, Tailgate Ted did give us some extra ways to save. He said that if you're making burgers at home or out here at a tailgate, maybe patty them yourselves instead of buying frozen. If you're looking to go to a party and want to bring something with you, maybe opt for a fruit or veggie tray, stick them on a kebab, make them look a little bit nicer. And if you want to bring a dessert, maybe opt for some homemade desserts instead of some of those nicer cakes that you see at the store because prices are going up on those as well. Cheers, guys. Back to you. <laughs>